Stick around. I'm gonna show you what went down. <laughs> Guys, I heard the funniest joke today. So the guy, huh? huh? That's me. Can I help you? Keys? You said oh, you oh. tell her. All right, all right. Karma, this is Neha. She's in my class and she has a lot to say. And I'm your biggest fan. I have fans? Yeah, huh? I'm the president of your fan club, the Karma Charmas. Wow. How many members does it have? Well, it's just me for now. But soon, it'll be thousands. Or like, probably millions. <laughs> Can't be much of a Karma fan club if it doesn't have Karma's first fan as a member. Sorry, Winston, but to be a Charma, you have to beat the Karma Charma Challenge. But if you do, you get one of these, a Karma Charma pin. Whoa! So, Karma, I have this podcast called 99 with Neha where I interview musicians. Hmm. Would you come on my show and answer some questions about your music? Sure, anything for a fan. <gasps> Yay! 99 questions with Karma Grant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, did she say 99 questions? Here we are on the stoop where Karma sits and thinks sometimes. Ooh. And for even more Karma facts, you can buy our premium package for the low, low price of one bag of pickle chips. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Neha. Hi, Karma. <gasps> Look, we both have such cool jackets. Cool jacket twins. Uh, they are pretty cool, aren't they? Well, <laughs> I'm helping Lady K at the studio today, so... I can walk with you, and we can get started on some of these uh, questions. Whoa, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Question one. How did it feel to save the community garden with music? Oh, it felt really great, especially because I got to sing with my mom. Follow up. When was the first time you sang with your mom? Well, I started when I... Ooh, follow, follow up! Did you ever think that you were 19? How did you... Well, I better get downstairs. <laughs> Bye, Neha. Wait, Karma! Before you go, can I have your autograph? Uh... Oh, uh, an autograph? Of course. And here. Oh, hey, Lady oh, K. And there. Didn't see you there. <laughs> and there. Busy signing autographs for my and fan, there. Neha. And there. Nice to meet you, Neha. Hello. Did you want me to sign anything? Nah, that's okay. <laughs> and there. And there. Oh, and there. Huh. All right. Gotta go. Wait, Karma. Can you answer some more questions later? Oh, right. <laughs> more questions. <laughs> Just numbers 19 through 99. Sure. See ya. Bye, Lady K. One, two, uh, three. Oh, Winnie? Oh, hey, Karma. Whew. Just about to do the Karma Charma Challenge. That pin is mine. We'll see about that. Do the full out dance team signature move while reciting 10 facts about Karma. One, Karma was our class president for a week. <gasps> two, the secret ingredient in Karma's dad's barbecue sauce is love, I, I think. Three, Karma almost changed her name to, uh, Vincent. Four, five, six, oh, oh. <gasps> Did I do it? Did I get the pin? Sorry, Winston, not enough facts. No! It's okay, Win. Let's go play basketball. Ooh, I'll come with to ask more questions. Question 31. In your song about Major being a hero, you mentioned him being smelly. Can you confirm? Uh, yeah. Question 32. <laughs> Question Whoa! 56. Question 82. Huh? Question 94. Question, 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 question! So, Karma, are you free to do Neha's 99th lightning round tonight at the community center? Sure, Neha. <sighs> um, do we have a math slash gym test tomorrow? No! I'm training to redo the Charma Challenge. Do you have any allergies? And do you like birds? What about lizards? Ugh, oh, no more questions, Winnie. I've been answering them nonstop for Neha all day. I know I said I'd answer all her questions, but I wish I could get a break from my biggest fan. 
Sorry I'm late. No worries. Let's start. Welcome back to 99 with Neha. Karma, are you ready for Neha's Super Speed Lightning Round? I guess. Answer as fast as you can. Question 95. MC Grills or Nelly Partridge? Um, I like them both. Oh, okay. Question 96. Purple mm. scones are... What was that? Sorry, hungry. <laughs> Purple scones are... Mm. Barbecue chips. Oh, do you want some? No, thank you. Question 97. Hey, Karma, want to play foosball? Uh, uh, hey, I'm just going to take a quick break. But we still hey, need guys, to wait finish up. the question. Uh, Karma, who's that? Just some little kid who's been following me around all day. <laughs> but I'm down to play. <laughs> Huh. Guess she ran out of questions. Oh! Hey, Neha. So, where'd you go last night? You didn't want to answer my questions, so I bounced. Oh, I... I just wish you told me I could have interviewed someone else. <sighs> but I'd already answered your questions all day. I know. I'm just some little kid following you around, right? No, that's not what I mean. Look, I came because I need to tell you. I don't want to be president of the Karma Charmas anymore. So I won't need this. Hmm. Huh? Wait, I'm offering a great deal on embarrassing Karma baby photos. <sighs> I really messed up with Neha. I don't know who that is, but she looks like me. So big and heroic. Could I be? All these expectations of what should I be? A great leader to my fans. Would I be? I'm just doing my own thing, and I love to write. Never knew that I could touch another person's life. Never wanted to be anybody's hero. But it sure beats feeling like a zero. Karma. Karma. <laughs> Practicing your autograph for your fan. I don't think she wants my autograph anymore. <sighs> Neha was disappointed because I didn't really take her interview seriously. I feel bad for letting her down, but she was kind of getting on my nerves. So what happened? She totally changed. She used to be happy and excited. Now she sounds like me when I blew off her questions. Oh, she was copying all the things I said to her. You have people listening to your voice now, Karma, and some of them are going to look up to you. But I didn't ask her to look you up. You might not always want to be their hero, but you can always choose to be someone you admire. So who do you want to be? The kind of person who helps inspire other kids. <sighs> and I definitely didn't do that. You know, I don't admire the karma I was last night, but I think I can fix that. Um, hi, Neha. What do you want, karma? I'm really, really sorry about how I acted yesterday. You took the time to ask me about my music, and I didn't give you that same respect back. It wasn't very nice. I know. But if you'll let me, I want to make it up to you. I'm performing a new song, and I want my biggest fan on stage to sing it with me. <gasps> wow! Really? That would be my dream! Ugh, and I don't want to eat any more barbecue chips. <laughs> Check it out, Hansberry. It's 99 with Neha. My guest today, the one and only Karma Gray! Yeah! I may have one voice, but the choice is mine to keep rhyming for good, and my light will shine. Now that I know I have influence, it's so plain to see. With great power comes responsibility. So I'm sorry how I acted in our last session. Let me make it up to you. Let's finish your questions. Question 97, what's your dream jam? Work with MC Grills, man, that will be a blessing. Question 98, who inspired you first? Hmm, Lady K, she's the best on earth. And question 99, what would you say to your fans? I'ma always make a difference, do the best that I can. But there's one last thing that I have to do. For my number one fan is say I love you. Even when I wasn't nice, you still rock with me. Neha, I owe you an apology. And I know I'm not perfect, but you made me a special. 
one of my favorites is Neha. Wait, there's one more thing. My fan club still needs a president. <gasps> I'll do it! Oof. I could never leave the Charmers hanging. Aww. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> my 4,000 subscribers are going to love hearing about this. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say 4,000 subscribers? <laughs> <gasps> Action! Hi, I'm Karma Grant, and I'd like you to vote for me to be Peachtree Middle's president for a week. Uh, cut. If I'm voted president, I will help students learn by creating Study Jam, a monthly music study session. <gasps> Scientists say that music helps you learn, so I will get instruments for study sessions that any student can use. Thanks, Karma. Remember, a vote for Karma is a vote for music. I'm Karma Grant, and I approve this message. Karma for president, how's it going? Love the shirt. Fellow students, vote for me today. <coughs> but Candidate Karma, is the school ready for your music plan? Yes, my friend. The time has come for a new beat. For me? Because a vote for Karma is a vote for music. Great news, Karma. You're up in the polls. The tetherball kids are gonna vote for you. Wow, seems like I might actually be able to win this thing. Oh! Thank you. Vote for me, because I'm Carrie Bautista, the candy candidate. What? Carrie's getting people to vote for her by giving them candy? If I'm elected, there's more candy where this came from. So just vote for Carrie. Okay, thank you. Bye! I actually want to make the school better. I'm not just giving out candy bars so people will like me. Don't sweat it, Carm. You got this. Right, Winston? Hmm. Mm. Winston! Hmm? Oh, hey! How did this chocolate get in my mouth? Mm. Oh, Karma. <sighs> <laughs> oh, now you really like it. Way too The school's about to announce who will be your president for the week. Attention students, the votes have been counted, and your president for a week is... Karma Grant! Oh, I always believe in you! <gasps> no fair! I demand a recount! In fact, I want all my chocolate back! Gimme it! Gimme, gimme, gimme! <clears throat> Madam President, this is a big responsibility, but I know you can handle it. Thanks, Mr. Single. Now, repeat after me. I, Karma Grant, I, Karma Grant. Promise on this peach. Promise on this peach. To serve proudly as president for the week. To serve proudly as president for the week. And I will make school better for everyone. Karma, Karma, Karma. Ready for your first day, Madam President? Ready. I can't wait to bring more music to school. Hmm. And in order to start study jam, I'm gonna have to get instruments. Karma, karma, karma. You know what you need? <sighs> My new invention, the Advicenator. All you have to do is ask it a question, and it'll give you advice on what to do. Watch this. Advicenator, what's your karma eat for dinner? <laughs> karma should eat a boot. <laughs> mm. We're trying to work, Keith. <sighs> Karma, now that you're president, can we have, like, new equipment for the gaming club? I don't know if that's hey, really in Karma, the... can the comic book club use a classroom for our meetings? Oh, um, that's not really what I was planning. Oh, oh, what about the soccer team? Can you get us a new referee? Oh, I... Sorry, but I just can't use my presidential power to... Interesting that you can't do these things for the kids who voted for you. You uh, owe them. Um, you know what? Yes, yes, yeah. and yes. yes. Thanks for helping us out, Madam President. Um, you'll be a great referee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Club, I hereby state that we refuse to leave! 
As head of the Trauma Club, how dare you? What's going on? This boy has completely ruined our only chance at artistic expression. Uh... Karma, you told us we could use this spot for our rehearsal. Karma, you told us that we could use this spot. I motioned that the members of this fine club stand tall and proud in this great cafeteria. Here, here. Yeah. Actually, I said yes to you both. <gasps> but look, the cafeteria is big enough to share. We, we were, were here, here first. first. We, we were here first. Yes, I'll help serve lunch. <laughs> yes, I'll fill in for the art club. Came from. Uh. Madam President, you're running out of time to locate instruments for study jam. We also need to choose a location for the jam. <sighs> but I can't right now. I said I would help the basketball team and the comic book club oh, and the ma. The extra things you said yes to don't have anything to do with your plan for study jam. I know, but I don't want to let anyone down. Then they might not like me anymore. Uh, hmm. what if you put this meeting here and move that meeting there? I don't think I'll have time. Maybe, maybe I can't do it all. Can't do it all? That figures. You made a promise and didn't follow through. And after these fine people voted for you. Karma said she'd do one thing, but now she's doing something else. Karma's a flip-flopper. She flipped, she flopped, she must be stopped. Flip-flopper, flip-flopper, flip-flopper. Madam flip -flopper, President, let's get out of here. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> What's up, Chris? I'm trying to study, but I'm having trouble remembering the types of biomes for science class. Ooh, I wrote a little song that helps me with that. Tundra, taiga, temperate forest, chaparral, desert, grasslands too. Tropical rainforest, mountains, and don't forget the ocean blue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Karma. I'll remember now. I'm glad I voted for you. A vote for Karma's a vote for music, right? Tundra, taiga, temperate forest, chaparral, <laughs> desert. That's why I wanted to be president. I wanted to make a difference with music. <sighs> My week is over tomorrow. It's too late. <sighs> I was supposed to be making music for my school. Focused on everyone but myself, it isn't cool. Just trying to make everyone happy and tell them yes. And nothing's been accomplished, so I really must confess. I wanted them to like me. How can I get it straight and focus on my mission? Or is it too late? Huh? Oh. Hmm. What kind of president do I really want to be? Huh? <laughs> Mom, can we talk? I need some advice. Hmm. You should. <laughs> Eat a boot! Mm. That thing says the same answer for every question. It's broken. Okay, okay. Advice-inator, I'll take it from here. <sighs> Mom, I messed up. I was trying so hard to make everybody happy as president that I didn't do what I wanted to do. Oh, honey, I know the feeling. You say yes to this, and you say yes to that. Next thing you know, you've yesed yourself into a mess. Karma, you don't have to do what everyone wants you to. But what if the other kids don't like me anymore? You're the president. It's not your job to give everyone exactly what they want. It's your job to make a positive difference. <sighs> I don't have much more time, though. Isn't it too late? It's never too late. <laughs> Help you. 
Thank you, Madam President, for creating Peachtree's first study jam. What, what? <laughs> now, how exactly does this learning party get started? Well, it was too late for me to get instruments, but we do have beats. Hit it, Switch! Tundra, taiga, temperate, forest, chaparral, desert, grasslands too. Tropical rainforest, mountains, and don't forget the ocean blue. My name is Karma Grant, and I thank you for your support. <gasps> this is so messy. Snorkels, soccer balls, old stinky shoes. Ew. Nasty. Karma. You're supposed to be cleaning, not making more of a mess. Community Cares Week ends tomorrow. Sorry, Ms. Washington. So this Community Cares thing, the whole neighborhood volunteers every year? Yep. We planted flowers, cleaned up litter in the park, and this year, we're all fixing up the community center. And I built a brand new invention. <clears throat> the Snack Decider! It decides what snack you should have. Huh? You get pickle chips. Ah! <laughs> pickle chips. Wow! Uh, it seems like everyone gets pickle chips. I mean, they are the best snack. Pickle chips. Huh? Ah! Don't make me take out your batteries. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What is all this stuff? Ooh, Ethernet cables and displays. These would be great for gaming and streaming and designing and, and... Uh, they're good for computers. Uh, Girl, you could have just said that. But do they even work? Sure. If we put this here, connect this to that, that should do it. <gasps> cool. Ooh. She's good. <laughs> I can fix up all those old computers. <gasps> It can be my community cares project. Oh, I love it. But you think you can do it all in time for the final showcase tomorrow? Uh... Don't worry, Switch. I'll help. Today, I'm your computer assistant. Really, Karma? Of course. Awesome! We've got spare cables and... Oh, huh? The kids' poetry slam jam. <gasps> we want your poems about your favorite place in the world. And the winners will be read live on TV? <gasps> Switch! The whole city could hear my rhymes. That's huge. But what am I gonna write about? The diner? Uh, the park? Or Madagascar? You've been to Madagascar? Nope. So it might be my favorite place, and I don't even know it yet. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna need more computer supplies from my place. Will you help me, Carrie? Karma. Sure. My favorite place, Tokyo. <gasps> what about outer space? When I want to feel at home or feel brand new, I go to my favorite place, which is a stinky old shoe. <laughs> what? Ahem. <clears throat> Let me try that again. No worries, no stress. I'll just start again. My favorite place is a muddy pig's pen. Uh, it is? <laughs> no, of course not. That rhyme doesn't make any sense. What is going on in my brain? It's all right. You might just have some writer's block. Writer's block? Yeah, it happens to my dad sometimes. He says it's like your whole brain's a blank page and it's hard to get any good ideas. <gasps> That's exactly what I have. But how do I get rid of it? I'm not sure. I just gotta concentrate and keep writing, and I'm sure it'll get better. Okay, gotta huh? go. So does that mean you can't help me? Oh, uh, yeah. I should really focus on my palm. Sorry, Switch. Nah, I get it. You gotta get rid of your block. But I'll help you out tomorrow morning. I promise. Okay, see ya, Carm. <sighs> my favorite place is... Is... Oh! I've been trying for hours and nothing. Figure out what's stopping me. Gotta figure out what's blocking me. What is my favorite place? Do I even know? What am I doing wrong? Uh, where can I? Whoa! Ah! Uh, how's the poem going? It's been really hard.
hard to write. <laughs> Poeming is so easy. Watch. Pickle chips, oh, pickle chips. So pickly and sweet. They're so good that humans and dogs want to eat. Ugh, no keys. This is way bigger than that. I have writer's block. <gasps> That's terrible! No. What is that? It's when your brain can't come up with any good ideas. <laughs> oh, no. Is it contagious? I don't want your writer's block. <sighs> I don't want it either. <sighs> I feel so much better. So long, writer's block. See you never. Ahem. My favorite place makes me happy. It's my spot to chill. My favorite place is the sweaty treadmill. Good morning! Who's ready to untangle some wires? Hmm. Uh-oh. Still have writer's block? I don't know what to do. Nothing good is coming out of my brain, no matter how much I focus. You know what you should do? Check the internet! Well, couldn't hurt. How do you cure writer's block? <sighs> There's a whole list here. I'm gonna try them all. Oh. I thought you were going to help me with the computers today. I have to focus on this poem, Switch. I can't think about anything else till it's finished. It's okay. Just promise you'll come help me finish this afternoon? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Well, see ya, I guess. Hmm. To cure writer's block, eat a peanut butter and jalapeno sandwich? Ugh. To cure writer's block, try writing upside down. Hmm. Oh! Oh. To cure writer's block, balance on one foot with a banana on your head. Pet ball chips. <laughs> Get back here! Ah! Want to know my favorite place? Well, here it is. My favorite place will be a social studies pop quiz. Ah! Writer's block! <gasps> Karma! I'm so glad you made it. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Karma, in there? Because I could really use your help right now. Switch, I'm trying to focus. My poem is due tomorrow, and I still haven't written a single line. I know, but community cares begins tonight. And oh, I... I can't, okay? This poem is really important. Important. Important? This computer lab is for our whole community, and it was gonna be my way to show this neighborhood how much I care. How could you think that's not just as important as your poem? N no, that's not what I'm... You promised to help me this weekend, but instead you've only been thinking about yourself. I've been helping you and focusing on you, and I've been patient when you keep ignoring me, and... and I... <sighs> I've gotta go. <sighs> I really messed up. Ugh. Almost done? Oh. Mm, that don't look done. <sighs> Not even close. <sighs> Wasn't Karma supposed to be helping you? Yeah, but she has something more important to do. Actually, huh? I don't. I'm sorry I broke my promise to help you this weekend. You wanted to do something special for the whole neighborhood, and I was only thinking about myself. But now I'm here to help. But what about the poetry contest? And fixing your writer's block? That's not as important to me as helping my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Karma. Okay, couple questions. What do I do with this? And, uh, what is it? <laughs> Here, let me show you. And now, let's hear from our next Community Cares volunteer, Switch Stein. She put together our neighborhood's new computer lab. Thanks, Miss Washington, but I had help. <laughs> Thanks for being there for me. Of course, Switch. When I'm with you, it's like... <gasps> I figured it out! My favorite place! I've been trying so hard to come up with it all weekend. But when I relaxed and focused on my friend instead of my poem... What is it? What's your favorite place? <laughs> Thank you, Switch. You cured my writer's block. Hey, I finally got my powers back. I was gone for a minute, now I'm back on track. Now back 
question about my favorite place in the world? Well, the answer is anywhere I hang with my girl. Her name's Switch. Together forever we have super swag. At the diner or brand new computer lab. Best friends are such an inspiration. When you need help or have some hesitation. <laughs> I took a break from the pain I felt. And when I helped her, I really helped myself. So if you ever get stuck or get brighter, You'll be back on top. Yeah. My favorite place is you. And all the things we do. Our friendship is so true. You know I got your back. I know you got my back. There's no replacing you. <laughs> yes! Poetry contest entered. And you beat your writer's block. All I needed was to figure out my real inspiration. Pickle chips. Uh -huh. Oh, pickle chips. So crunchy, so sour. They give both humans and dogs pickle chippy power. <laughs> I could go with a fight. Oh, dang it, I won. Karma? Huh? Karma! Karma! What's your deal? It's the first day of school! <laughs> Who gets this excited about school? Me! Because this isn't just any first day of school, it's my first day of middle school! Up top! You're weird. Think of all the new friends, and homework, and music classes. Do you think I'll still have time to write rhymes, Keys? Keys? Mm. Hey, what's up, Winston? Oh, hey. Me and my bestie, my bestie and I, on our way to middle school and rhyming on the fly. Not now, Karma. But aren't you excited? No, I'm terrified. We're gonna be the youngest kids in school again. Do you know our grade is so big, there are three Carries? How am I gonna tell Carrie L, Carrie B, and Carrie W apart? Don't worry, huh? Winston. It's gonna be great. It's all good, though. You don't have to flow. I'll keep the rhymes going and throw it to my little bro. <sighs> Not now, Karma. Uh, what is that? Another invention? It's the Keys Grant patented snack launcher. Perfect for your next snack attack. Have some chips or candy bar. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, oh, still a few bugs to work out. <laughs> Come back here, snack! <laughs> okay, that's gotta make you feel better. Mm. How am I even gonna find the cafeteria? What if I forget my locker combination? What if I mix up the carries? It's gonna be amazing, I promise. So maybe I'm too hyped, way more than a little. It's Bye Bye Elementary and Hello Middle! <laughs> okay, okay, I believe you, Karma. <laughs> the best place to be. Thanks. I'm Alex, but everyone calls me Switch. I'm Karma. <gasps> wow, your bracelet is so cool. Thanks, I made it. Well, it's awesome. So, do you like music? Gosh, I mean, I love making beats and hooks and collecting records and of course seeing concerts and playing the... <laughs> yeah, I like music. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Mr. Single. Welcome to your first day of middle school. What, what? <laughs> now, let's take out our schedule. Yeah, Carrie, she's right. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, the art room is so cool. And I didn't even mix up the carries once. How was your first day, Karma? I don't want to talk about it. OK, I understand. KB and the other kids were so mean to me about my name. I never thought it was weird before, but I guess it is. There's nothing wrong with your name, Karma. Oh, Karma. After some <clears throat> hiccups in version 1.0, I'm proud to announce that the Snack Launcher 2.0 is ready. Oh, no. Um, this didn't happen before. I wonder if the chocolate pocket is. This must be serious if you can't even laugh at keys. I just want a normal name like everyone else's. Wait, I know. I'll change my name. Well, for what it's worth, I like your name. And Winston Taurus is taken, so don't even think about it. <laughs> never thought about my name or what it meant. I never thought it would bring me no drama. But now that's changed, I'm not the same. And I don't think I want to be karma. <sighs> I just want a normal name. I don't want to be Karma. I want to be... <gasps> I got it! I want a new name. Want to change the game. I just want to be ordinary. It's time for me to stop going by Karma. It's time for me to be Carrie. Dinner time! Okay, Mom! Hello, soon-to-be investors. Uh, who? Today I'm here to present to you the latest invention from Keys Grant Enterprises. I guess we're having chocolate mashed potatoes now. <laughs> Hello, lovely family. Wow, someone's in a happy mood. Good first day of school? Nope. But I figured out how to make it all better. From now on, my name isn't Karma, it's Carrie! Excuse Carrie. me. Carrie? Hmm. You look more like a Vincent to me. Ugh, keys. Um, why is there chocolate in these mashed potatoes? Better question. Why don't you want to be Karma? Because it's the weirdest name on Earth. Karma's a beautiful name. No, Carrie is. It's normal, it's regular. There are already three Carries in my grade, so I'll fit right in. Well, I support you. Thank you, Keys. Now can you pass the meatloaf? Vincent. Uh, <laughs> hey, Costa. Uh, I mean, Carrie. What's up with wanting to change your name? <sighs> Carrie being some of the kids made fun of it today. So I, I just want to change it to something that's not so weird. Well, I like to think of it as unique. You see, your mom and I chose karma. Because as soon as we met you, we knew you were going to be one of a kind. And you deserved a name as special as you are. But what does karma even mean? It means what you put out into the world is what you get back. Huh? <laughs> but well, maybe another way to think about it is... Mm, it's kind of like a boomerang. If you put out love, you'll get love back. And if I put silliness out into the world, I'll get silliness back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if she put snacks out into the world, huh? you get snacks back. <gasps> uh oh. Wait! Come back! <laughs> I'm not sure if karma works for chips. Nope. Thanks, Dad. Pretty cool, Karma. Huh. Put friendship out, get friendship back. Uh-oh. Carrie alert. Want me to talk to her? I got this. What do you want, Carrie? Um, nice bracelets. Hmm. <sighs> I wanted to tell you that I've never heard a name like yours before. You made that clear. 
And I think that's really cool. I mean, there are two other Carries in our grade. I wish I had a name as special as yours. Oh, thanks. But that doesn't change the fact that you were a real bully to me yesterday. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, sit here. Okay, okay, everyone, quiet. It's attendance time. Carrie. Here. Chris. Here. Karma. Uh, Karma? Right here. Here's my introduction, chapter one, verse one. Best rapper alive if anybody wants some. But let me tell a story how I doubted my name. And I lost my confidence until my daddy explained that karma means destiny. If I put good into the world, it comes back. And that's bringing out the best in me. We're all unique and nobody's the same. So let's conquer the world. They're ready to make change. Tell them who's the queen. You. Now, how did you fall through my ceiling? My friends and I were following these weird symbols all around the neighborhood to try Oh, and... my old tag. I painted these so long ago. Does that mean you hit the treasure? <gasps> I found the treasure! I found the treasure! Can I have my treasure now? <laughs> There's no treasure here. There's no treasure? But the symbols and the record and the lyrics. When times get dark, follow the beat of your heart. It's gonna mean something. <laughs> Those are the lyrics to the first song I ever recorded. But back then, no one would even play my song on the radio. So I decided to put it out myself. So it wasn't a treasure hunt. You were just painting your lyrics around the block? Yep. Then where have you been all these years? Question on everyone's lips, where is Lady K? The famous rapper, once known for traveling around the world, has vanished, now missing no photos, for 15 no years. Photos, Her fans just want to know, Lady K, where are you? Ugh, I'm right here. Sure, I had the fancy cars, the fancy clothes, but I wasn't happy. I was homesick. I miss being here, in the neighborhood I love. I realized I was just making music for the money, so I gave it all up and came home. Well, great. That means you can help us. See, my friend Winston's family owns the record shop upstairs, and it's gonna close. They need money to save it. Ooh, I have an idea. We can have a big, big concert at the spin shop, and then you'll appear, and the crowd will go wild. <gasps> Lady K, she's back. I thought she disappeared. And then everyone will remember how great the spin shop is and donate money, and it will be saved. <sighs> so what do you think? I'm not doing any of that. What? But I know you think I'm your hero, but I'm just a person. Nobody cares about me making a comeback. I can't save your friend's record shop. I'm not magic, Carter. Now, isn't it past your bedtime? But you said you love our neighborhood. Now you have a chance to actually help it with your music. I can't just up and fix everything. Like I said, I'm not magic. You're magic to me. Hey, Karma, where you been? Last night, I met Lady K. You what? <laughs> yep, I heard music, so I followed it, and it led me to her secret recording studio. You expect us to believe you met Lady K? No, for real. I'm telling the truth. See? Hey, it is Lady K. So does that mean she was the mysterious rapper on the record? The one with the treasure? There was no treasure. And when I asked her to help save the spin shop, she said no. Oh, man. Uh, I knew it was too good to be true. First crash put that video online. Now this? 
What a terrible day. Oh, what did Crash put online? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. What did Crash put online? Uh. You thought you were better, but you never could defeat me. I'm the best rapper from the school, rapping Beach Street. I'ma take credit when you flex it on the mic. Listen to yourself. You were right. Uh. <laughs> Crash, we were just teammates, and now this? Don't listen to Crash. You can win. You just have to focus. Mm. Karma, maybe it's time to stop thinking about saving the spin shop and start thinking about what you can do. Beat Crash on Freestyle Knockout tonight. <sighs> yeah! I met Lady K and she's not the person she seems. I'm a little disappointed. I thought we could be a team. And on top of that, tomorrow <laughs> I'm battling Crash. He could probably win if I don't focus on the task. Just a record shop. Gotta save the day if my feelings are in a wreck or not. I'm never giving up, even if there's no treasure. Maybe there's a way to solve everything together. Mm. Huh? <laughs> what? You looked hungry. <laughs> Usually I'd say something like, ugh, and slam my door in your face. But not today. Wait, really? Yeah, because I need your help. Tonight on Freestyle Knockout, I have a chance to rap to the whole world. And I'm going to use it to save the spin shop. Get your inventions, all of them, and meet me there tonight. What? You need me to what? Lose Freestyle Knockout tonight. So you can win? No, I need us both to lose tonight. Man, I'm out of here. I know we don't get along, like ever. But we have a chance tonight to use our voices to save the spin shop. Mm. Look. We can go back to being enemies tomorrow. But tonight, can we be teammates one last time? <laughs> what would you do without me? Oh, come on. It was a nice moment, and you ruined it. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> What's the plan? We have to write a song that convinces the whole world to help us. Because if we don't, we're going to get hit by a lot of toilet paper rolls. Wait, what? Are they? The show's about to start. Huh? Ooh, here they are, all of my inventions. We have to do whatever it takes for our best friend. Thanks, Karma. <gasps> Winnie, I'm sorry I was so focused on saving the shop that I didn't think about your feelings. But is it okay if I give it one last try? I'm with you all the way. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Freestyle Knockout. Tonight, our top two rappers go from teammates to competitors. Give it up for Crash Watkins and Karma Grant! Huh? Hi, everyone. I'm not here to freestyle battle. Neither am I, even though I would have crushed her. <laughs> We're here to ask for your help. There's this store, the spin shop in Hansbury Heights. That's an amazing place for music. Mm -mm. No. But it's about to close because mm. it doesn't have enough customers. So Crash and I, we're not gonna battle. We're gonna rap together to show how important the spin shop is. Because what's the point of having a voice if you don't use it to make the world a better place? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not freestyle help out. This is freestyle knockout. Yeah, but, but this is really important. Hey, oh! <laughs> We can't lose. 
When times get dark, follow the beat of your heart. Never give up what you start, cause things get better. Listening to you since I had baby teeth. But you've been gone so long. Why come back now? Cause someone reminded me the whole point of having a voice is using it to make the world a better place. So where can all your fans find that fire new record? There's only one place to get it. The spin shop. Come on, everybody. Let's support our neighborhood's music. Guess you're a little bit magic after all. For the last time, job. Winston Tor is here, directing my second rap documentary. Carmen, why don't you tell us what's been up? The last two months have been amazing. I didn't win Freestyle Knockout, but who cares? I got something better instead. The Spin Shop is back in business. Me and Crash performing our song with Lady K worked. It brought a ton of new customers to the store. Ooh, but you still haven't seen the best part yet. Come on, check it out. Little Bit of Magic Studios. <laughs> mm. I thought we hadn't decided on a new name yet. Yes, we have. Now the studio's open for the whole neighborhood to make music together. And everybody's welcome. But please use the front door, not the ceiling. <laughs> oh, and Karma, all these extra people's gonna make a lot more work around here. Any chance you want to help out? <gasps> really? Like a job? Here? With you? We can start next weekend. Ooh, oh, okay, we're doing thank this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lady <laughs> K. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Cafeteria stampede. What's going on? Carrie started a club for kids who love sparkle scrunchies, and she's the president. They're called the Scrunchy Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Check out these sparkles. <laughs> Scrunchy club? I don't get it. Yeah, I'm not really into scrunchies. Eh, me neither. So, what if we start our own club instead? Maybe one where we rap? And make beats? And do secret club handshakes? Yes! No. We'll make music and jam, and we'll call ourselves... The Jammers! I love it! Now, give me a jam shake. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Okay! Whoa! <laughs> That's the perfect secret handshake for our club. The first meeting of the Jammers starts now. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I love lunch with my crew. We're the Jammers Club. Come chow, bring your salad or your turkey sub. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> like I was saying. Ooh. Chris, <gasps> do not touch the scrunchie. That's a rule. I just think it would look really cool in my hair. <laughs> You need long, luscious hair, like mine, to pull off these scrunchies, okay? <sighs> Karma's club looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> with a lot less rules. <sighs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Huh? We created the Scrunchy Bunch first, and now you're trying to copy us? We're not copying, we're doing our own thing. Well, even if you are a club, you'll never be better than my scrunchy bunch. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah? Well, we've got a secret handshake. <gasps> Do you? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, didn't think so. Cool. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We love music and rapping and secret handshakes, so we want to sit with the jammers. 
Do y'all have any rules? <laughs> no rules at our table. We just jam our way. Mom, if you're able, everybody can play. Come jam with us. Add your voice with the hey! <laughs> Chris, huh? unless you grew a long, beautiful ponytail like mine in the last ten seconds... I did not. Then you can't touch the scrunchies. That's a rule! Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I have to find out their handshake. Once I know what it is, I can come up with something even better. But how can we find out what the secret handshake is if it's a secret? We have to spy on them. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Oh, yeah! <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's our handshake! But how did everybody find out about it? They must have spied on us! Carrie said that the Scrunchy Bunch has their own super secret dance routine. <gasps> That's way better than a handshake. She told me it was choreographed by her cousin. He was a backup dancer in an MC Girls music video. <gasps> how can we beat that? We have to figure out their dance so we can make our next secret even better. We have to outspy the spies. You won't believe the stuff I heard during science. <laughs> Time for the scrunchy shuffle. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas for new secret handshakes and new secret dances and new secret secrets. We need something big on Carrie to end this. Something as huge as Carmi the Starmi. <gasps> Winston Arturo Rafael Torres. Carmi the Starmi? What's that? When she was a baby, that was Karma's first rap name. And her first rap was called, I'm a baby boo. <laughs> I told you not to ever tell anyone that. <laughs> Don't worry, Karm. Your secret's safe with me. But not with me. <laughs> oh, hey, Carmi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Will you sing us, I'm a baby boo? <laughs> <gasps> How could... What did... Carrie must have found out about my secret and told everyone. Oh, The only thing we can do now is find an even bigger secret on Carrie. But how? Mm, you were right to come to me. Because I just completed my most technologically advanced spying invention ever. I call them the Super Snoop Spy Goggles! Uh -huh. Those are just regular old binoculars. Oh, really? Could regular old binoculars do this? Keys Griff has the best huh? inventions of all time. <laughs> For the low, low price of <laughs> nine nine nine. Keys Griff. to cut my own hair a couple months ago. Carrie, huh? dinner! <gasps> Whoa, girl. Yeah, it was not cute. So I wear this. The Scrunchy Bunch president's supposed to have long, beautiful hair. That's a rule. But now that you're gonna tell everyone my hair is fake, no one will want to be in the club with me. It's not like you don't deserve it after... After I told everyone your secret, I know. Congrats, Karma. You got what you wanted. Now, your club will be the best. <sighs> hey, Karma. Nothing to report from Giselle. I saw Chris put mustard on a donut, which was weird, but nope, no secrets. Um, 
I didn't get anything either. <laughs> Wait a second. Your eye's twitching. That means you're hiding something. <gasps> something about Carrie! You have to tell us. No way. You have to tell everybody at lunch. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. But she told everyone your secret, Karma. I guess you're right. Cool. Let's do it. <sighs> I found out a secret that Carrie doesn't want us to know. And I really want to reveal it. But I don't want to stoop that low. <gasps> no! Carrie would do it if she were in my position. I shouldn't feel bad. I was on a spy mission. But I don't want to win if I have to tell dirt. I wouldn't feel good if somebody got hurt. I don't want to spy no more. This the end. All I want to do is just hang with my friends. The quest to be the best man. You can just keep it. I'll take the high road and not tell other secrets. <sighs> So, what's the big secret, Karma? The secret is... Um... Uh, here's Carmi the Starmie's first song! I'm a baby, roar! I love tigers! I'm a baby, oops, I think I pooped my diaper! <laughs> <laughs> Karma? Huh? You gave up your own secret to protect me? No one should have their secret told if they don't want to share it. Wow, you're right. I'm sorry I didn't keep yours. It's just everyone at school expects me to have perfect hair. Your hair's your business and nobody else's. And you don't ever have to worry about me telling your secret. No one should. Let's all take a stand, I'm the first to say. Everybody in school is getting carried away. We supposed to be friends, supposed to have trust, not snooping around, being nosy and such. So respect everybody, stay out of their business. Cause that didn't happen from what I witnessed. It's my fault too, so I'll take some blame. We lost all control with these spying games. Treat All those secrets. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Ah, uh, yeah. Can we jam too? <laughs> of course. Come on. Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. <laughs> All you, Chris. I'm done with rules. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, uh, yeah. This is scrunchy it's jam. Here, keys. I'm done spying, so I won't need your regular old binoculars anymore. Oh, Karma, I think you mean Super Snoop Spy Goggles. He's great, has the best inventions of all time. 